Before getting started, there was something I noticed in the last videos. Uh, we've set up the object player laser so that when it goes off the screen it destroys itself, but we did not set up the same function for the object bullet from the enemies. So let's open up the object bullet and I will just add an event other outside room and then tell it to destroy the instance. Okay, so that'll clean itself up now. Now we can move on to the boss. So over here in the assets I have added a sprite boss and this is 192 by 192 with precise collision checking and I have made it sort of a star space starfish kind of thing. However, I didn't make the sprite very well and so it's not perfectly symmetrical. For me, the origin point is not actually at this point, it's more up here. So I've had to move it down to 96 by 106. Obviously, you guys would want to make your sprite a little bit better so that the center is actually in the real, true center of the sprite. But you'll notice that I've also got these five black circles here, and that is where I'm going to place cannons later on. We're going to add other objects here. And what I want this boss to do is to spin around, and as it spins around, so do these cannons, and then they shoot at the player wherever it is. So let's close this, and I've created an object boss in the enemies folder. It uses the sprite boss. It's visible, obviously, and I want to give it a depth of 10, so it appears below most things. And in the parent, I'm going to give it the object super parent, not the enemy parent. The reason for that is because I don't want the lasers to be able to shoot the boss. To destroy this boss, you're going to have to destroy the five little cannons that are on its surface. But I want this sprite to come on specially. I want it to sort of float in from the right and then stop and start spinning. So first we're going to add an event, create, and we're going to set its direction. So let's choose this move fixed with a direction of the left and a speed of four. Hit OK. And now we need to make it stop and I'm going to do that with a timer. So let's go to main two, set alarm, and I'm going to give that alarm 55 steps. Hit OK. Now let's add an event. Alarm, alarm 0. Come back to move, move fixed, and tell it to stop with a speed of 0. Now I need to get it to spin, and that's going to be pretty simple. Let's add an event, step, step, come over to control, come down to set variable, and we are going to give it the variable image underscore angle set the value to 1 and relative. Now I said before that angle was not a built-in property of Game Maker, but image angle is. And this sets the direction and the orientation that the sprite is in. By adding a value of 1 every step, we get it to slowly spin around. So let's click OK, close the object, and now let's open up our room. And we want to zoom out and we're going to add the object boss out here off of the screen and we've set this up so that it's going to move in this direction and after 55 steps it'll stop and start spinning. That might not work exactly well for your sprite so you can change the length of time it takes for this to get on screen by adjusting the number of steps it takes for the alarm to trigger and make it stop. But this will work here so let's close the room and it says, do we want to remove objects outside the room? No. Uh, let's test it. And here it comes, and it stops, and it spins around. And because I did not make my sprite perfectly symmetrical, it does look just a little bit weird as it spins, but it will work. So now we need to make the cannons that will spin around with the star and shoot back at the player. 